participants. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a Dialogflow chatbot which is connected to a Google spreadsheet. You can use Google spreadsheet to store any kind of data and uh, basically you can um, show responses in Dialogflow using the data which is stored in the Google spreadsheets. So let's see how to do that. So first step is to go into the Dialogflow console. And let's create a new agent called Spreadsheet Demo. All right, so now we need a Google Spreadsheet. So let's create a new spreadsheet. And let's put it some some data inside that spreadsheet. So let's put some uh, name, age, email, and phone number. So let's say this is the header, and just fill in quickly some data. All right, so let's say this is our data stored in the spreadsheet. And now um, we need to fetch this data in the dialog flow. So let's build a chatbot uh, which will ask for name. And uh, when we pass a name, then it will uh, tell the age, email and phone number of that person. So let's see how to do that. So you can use a very good tool which is called sheetdb.io so this uh, tool can basically convert your spreadsheet into an api so just log in with your google account and just copy this sheet sheet URL and click on create new and paste it here and create API so let's share this document and just get a shareable link yeah all right so yeah make sure you share this document with everyone all right and then click on create api and there you go so this is the api just click on it and it is copied to clipboard now paste it and yeah so this data is coming from the spreadsheet so if you make any changes uh, it will be reflected here so let's say we quickly add something else uh, John 28 okay and if you refresh it yeah there's the new entry so this is the API now we just need to connect our dialog flow with this API so let's say go to dialog for default intent and uh, here we add a parameter called name just call it says dot any and uh, name it's a required parameter please tell me the name so we are going to ask for the name Please tell me the name whose details you would like to see. <laughs> All right. So now we will just delete this default response and enable fulfillment so that we can write our code. 
now let's go to fulfillment section and enable fulfillment you may need to wait for a couple of minutes okay so now we are here in the fulfillment so we will write our code in this welcome function which is triggered uh, using default welcome intent so whenever this intent is triggered welcome function will be executed and this is the welcome function so we need to make a call to the api get the data and display it here now uh, to make the call we need axios axios is a library which we use for making API calls. So just write this uh, const axios equal to require axios. Okay, and in package.json, just define axios here. And you need to use the latest version, which is, I guess, 0 0.19.0. You can always see the latest version here npm axios so 0 0.19.0 is the latest version so that's what we are using here all right and uh, yeah we have just mentioned axios here okay so the next thing is we need to make the api call so for that uh, you can create a function called get spreadsheet data okay and all that function has to do is to return axios.get and the URL which URL so this URL the sheet db.io URL okay and uh, here instead of agent.add we can write something like this return get spreadsheet data right and dot then this is called promise and uh, what we are doing is making call to uh, the spreadsheet API using this function and when the call is done then we will get the response in this res or response parameter and uh, for now just do a console log just to see if you are getting the data back or not so make the call to the spreadsheet api get the response and just console log and let's deploy it all right so the deployment is complete now let's open the execution logs so that we can see the console logs if you are logged in with multiple account make sure you log in with the correct account okay so let's trigger this intent let's say hi it says please tell me the name let's say unsure all right so there's no response and we haven't configured any response so let's go directly to the console logs and there you go so you can see we got an error 
and it says get address info e again 443 um, something like this so that means it is unable to access the internet and that's because we need to confer, uh, configure a billing account so for that go to console.cloud.google.com slash billing okay and make sure you are logged in with the correct account if you are not just change the account right and make sure you have a billing account here so then go to my projects and uh, just select the project that you have created uh, ours is spreadsheet demo so click on change billing and set account and that's it so now you can close this and uh, try again say hi please tell me the name initial All right, no response, but let's see here. There you go. So you can see we got the data from the API. Okay. And uh, this is basically everything. So You don't need everything uh, we just need the data right so we can write something like this uh, response dot data so console log response dot data and deploy it wait for a few seconds and then check it again All right, so deployment is complete. Let's test it again. So hi, uh, just enter a name and check in the logs. There you go. So you can see we have got the name uh, age, email and phone for all the users. Now it's just matter of looping through this data and displaying the correct information. So now what you can do is uh, you have got the data here in res.data. You can write something like res.data.map. You can use map function. So you can say person So for each person, agent dot so we have got name property. All right, so if we can write something like if person dot name equal to uh, whatever user has provided so user provided name can be stored here it's const name equal to agent dot parameters dot name so this this uh, name will be stored here okay so this is the name which we collected from user and uh, we are going to use that name and we are going to compare with uh, name you can write something like this and make sure that this is back tick and not the single quote so we will use uh, here are the details for name okay and age yeah we can write 
person dot age this email and phone person dot email comma phone person dot phone all right so that's it basically so let's deploy this and let's see if it works or not all right so deployment is done so let's test it hi uh, enter the name so let's say unsure and there you go here are the details for Anshul, age 30, email abc at xyz, phone 123. Let's try it again. Let's do it for John. So we should see these details. Uh, please tell me the name, John. And there you go. Here are the details for John, age 28, email john at gmail.com, phone 88 something. So you can see how easy it is to connect the Dialogflow agent with spreadsheets. And uh, you can store any kind of data here and then use it in your Dialogflow. And now when you connect this Dialogflow with your Facebook or Telegram or Viber or any other platform, you will see this response in those platforms. So I believe you liked our video. If you like it, please click on like button and share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.